Welcome to highlights of the Guinness world record attempt made by a group of Louisa County youth for duration in a bouncy castle of 26 hours. The event was sponsored by the Louisa Development Group and the Louisa County Fair Board on July 26-27 of 2012 in Columbus Junction, Iowa, Louisa County. Okay, these are the uh, team members, eight team members that will be trying to set the world record here at Columbus Junction, Louisa County Fair. Brandon Beery, Beery, no no. Thank you. Jenna Knudsen, Wapolo. Uh, Logan Osborne, no no. Jessica Brion, Wapolo. Colin Beery, no no. Mitchell Roush, Columbus Junction. Trey Coughlin, Wapolo. Christine Milder, Columbus Junction. All right, and there we go, and we're going to get starting in three minutes. Here's Dennis Frazee in the foreground, executive director of the Louisa Development Group, who thought up the idea. Uh, some of the committee members of the Bounce House are Eric Fields, Ken Purdy, Ron Cutcombe, Jeff Mater, Bob Buckman, and Kim Hafner in the background. Uh, Bob's wife, Paula Buckman, in the lower right. Terry Hutchison. Okay, it's 10.44.30. Uh, a.m. on Thursday, and we're going to start exactly at 10.45 a.m. These uh, three timers here will be started simultaneously, three iPad timers, and all eight jumpers are in there right now. We're going to officially start in uh, 20 seconds, and uh, I'll probably have you start jumping about 10 seconds ahead of time. Go ahead, start. Okay, right there, 10.45 a.m. exactly. And we got all eight tempers, <laughs> which is a little bit awkward. <laughs> okay, here we are. Okay, if you want to start coming out anytime and uh, whenever. Watch them there, It makes it a lot easier with one zipper, and we're down with Jenna from Waffle. It's continuing on here. Is Jessica getting it? Yeah. And we got the next jumper in, and we got two jumpers in there right now. And here comes the first jumper out, Jenna. We're going to officially log the change at uh, 40. And, uh, she just came out. Tell Trey not to come out. So. Or make sure he doesn't come out. And it's coming up on the one hour. That way, Trey. All right. Mitchell knows his time's getting in towards the end. <laughs> That's it, Mitch. Ah. Okay, Mitchell. 
Mitchell Rouse just came out after his 20 minute extent. And we have Christine Miller taking over. An hour and 20 minutes that we left. July 26, 2012, Columbus Junction, Iowa. Colin Berry going in at 140 for his uh, shift. Uh, one hour and 40 minutes into the world record attempt for Colin Berry. On deck is his twin brother, Brandon Berry from LM High School. Mm. I was talking to uh, Brandon and he's seven minutes older than Colin. Until we get okay, you can come out. And here comes Colin and his twin brother Brandon is going. Is your camera going? On deck, Logan and Osborne. I'd say go ahead and get in. All right, and taking over is Logan Osborne. With a two minute, 20, two hour, 20 minute mark. Logan Osborne from LM. We had great media coverage. Here's an interview being done by KCII Radio broadcast later. And here is the Fox News cameraman getting set up. Uh, we brought all of the jumpers in for this next video segment. Now there's some determined Iowans attempting to put themselves in the record book. The high schoolers at the Louisa County Fair are getting a workout as they try to set a new world record for the most time spent inside a bounce house. They started about 10 this morning. They plan to keep bouncing for 27 hours straight. Oh my goodness. Maybe just hold off on the pizza and ice cream until you guys are done. Huh? <laughs> yeah, that would be a good idea. I'm sure they'd all appreciate that. Good thing that's being held tonight and not like the previous nights when it's been triple digits. Exactly. Oh my gosh, but I know it gets pretty hot in those things. I don't know if I'd yeah. want to do that anyway. Okay. <laughs> we put them all in because Fox News is here for an event. Magnetic jumper will stay in there. That's Logan uh, Osborne. He went in and uh, will continue to stay in. And he's been in uh, actually four minutes. Okay. Good? All right. Let's bring him out. <laughs> was he related to you? Jenna. Jenna Knudsen from Wapolo, coming up. Every 20 minutes we're switching. Oh, looks great, Jenna. Those shirts are nice. Yeah. And there's Logan and Jenna. <laughs> Good job. Logan and Jenna. That's hard to beat. Right with the music, too. Logan is out. Good job, Logan. Thanks. Sure the media coverage was great. Here is Channel 6 News, KWQC out of the Quad Cities and NBC affiliate setting up to do an interview with one of the Berry brothers. Louisa County teens attempting to break the world record for bouncing in a bounce house. KWQC's Erica Cervantes shows us how the attempt is going. This team of eight from Louisa County are 
jumping their way to a world record. I think that would be really cool to be able to see my name in a world record book and be like, hey, that's me. And I was like, oh, that sounds like a really cool idea and something fun to do. The group is made up of students from Wapalo, Columbus Junction, and L&M High Schools. They started bouncing Thursday morning. It's kind of fun, but it gets kind of boring after a while because it's just you in there. It's like 50 or 20 minutes is so long. Guinness World Records requires that one person always has to be bouncing in the castle. The group is saving energy by bouncing one at a time. It's hot and tiring, but you just have to keep telling yourself to go. What makes the attempt more meaningful for the group is the bounce council was produced in Eliza County by a family-owned business that makes bounce houses for places all over the world. It kind of feels like this, we were meant to do this since we produce the bounce houses and then we're also breaking the record. It feels like we are just meant to do it. But breaking a world record means hours of bouncing and a lot of downtime. But the rest of the time I've been spending it in the trailer, spending in the air conditioning. It's a lot of fun. It's pretty cool to have your name on something, something in your community. Now the bounce team has a lot of bouncing ahead of them. They'll be inside the bouncy until this clock hits 27 hours. At the Louisa County Fair, Erica Cervantes, KWQC, TV6 News. Oh, Erica, thank you. And now Jumping continues around the clock with the pattern 20 minutes in the bounce house and 2 hours and 20 minutes rest. We had supplemental lighting to help us throughout the night. And as daybreak approaches, you'll see some of us taking it easy in the lawn chairs. We're approaching the 24-hour mark, which will be 10.45 a.m. on July 27th. To relieve some of the tired muscles, Paula Buckman gave free massages. This one is the accumulated time. And we're coming up to our 24-hour mark. Uh, Okay, that clock rolled over at 24 hours, so it's 24 hours, 3 minutes and 32 seconds plus, and it is right on. We're going to put a sticker over the zero zero so you know it's 24 hours, and we'll do likewise at 25 and uh, 26 hours. So I'm, you'll watch us do that right now. This enthusiastic crowd started to form when they knew we were going to break the old record of 26 hours. Uh, the timer shows 25 hours and 50 some seconds. When it turns over to zero, that will be the 26 hour mark. And you'll hear us count down from 10 seconds. Yeah, we're going to sit down while you jump. Yeah, okay. Five, eight, seven, six, five. Okay, we're past the 26 hour mark, the world record is broken, uh, and we're going to go for 27 hours here at the Hawaii County Fair, July 27th, 2012. Yeah. July 27th, and we're going to pan around here, stay right where you are. <laughs> Some of the spectators, we're shooting for that 27 hour mark. make it a little bit harder for anybody else to set the record. We're going to bring the other jumpers in shortly. Um, Mitchell Rouse is the designated jumper for this time period. And here they come. Going into the final minute and a half. <laughs> Protect the iPad, Bob. <laughs> and we got all the jumpers. The designated jumper is uh, Mitchell Rouse.
Committee would especially like to thank this group of youth. We could not have found a better group to work with. Thanks to the many spectators that supported us all throughout the event and at the 26 hour and 27 hour moments. The youth after the event signed two t shirts which will be put into the two Louisa County Historical Museums. We'd also especially like to thank Flopla Fabrications and their president, June Harden, who donated the Bounce House. The very next Monday, site work started on the new youth center in the location we were using at the Louisa County Fairgrounds. Thank you.